You'll never guess what. I'm only back on zombies again. Uh, and this is Among Us, uh, but it is zombies. This is Skeld. Oh, I'm an imposter. You know what? The last zombies video we did, uh, it, was, it wasn't titled a zombies video, but it was like and me being honest, whatever, actually performed really, really well. Had really great feedback. Um, so I thought, you know what? Saw this map. Why not again? I mean, the best of both worlds kind of thing, where we're going to get a nice tartan of thumb now out of the fact that it's Among Us. Because we had one that looks called like Among Us, um, but it's mini golf, and that performed really well on the channel uh, with the Mandan boys. That was golf for friends, but Among Us map. Uh, you know, I thought I'd just do some zombies because, like I said, I love custom zombies, always have and always will. It's a shame that like new Call of Duties haven't got any kind of like custom aspects to them. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. Like at all game companies, please, please understand that having the ability to customize your game, add mods to your game, some kind of maps that are custom, were any workshop stuff on Steam gives your game so much more legs in the YouTube world, right? Back in the day, we had Trials Evolution and Trials HD um, on Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Um, and they were massive games for us back in the day. But, and then Ubisoft bought Trials. And they kind of like ruined it a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Like, I love Ubisoft and I've worked with Ubisoft many times. They kind of just didn't really give it the support that it needed to allow it to be like elongated in the YouTube sphere and world. Um, I love how these are like kind of like, I'm treating these like a little podcast these days, honestly. This is Black Ops 3 and it's still living and thriving and has a nice community around it because obviously Zombies community is massive and has been for a long time. It hasn't really had any support since this game with the Black Ops 3 mod tools. And there's creators out here just make crazy maps. This map doesn't look like crazily designed, but obviously, ultimately, it is just scaled. So what, what else are you going to do with it, really? Um, I was supposed to do something, right? I guess I'm supposed to fix some... I think I said it fixed lights. Did it say fixed lights? Also, when you're solo, always get your hands on the quick revive. It helps massively. Oh, God. Yeah, even think about it. Think of the games that we've played the longest on our channels. And a lot of creators are still playing to this day. You have Minecraft. Again, audience, uh, sorry, people and audience can make custom stuff. You can modify it and create whole new experiences and games within the game. Roblox, same thing. Exact same thing. Not saying that Rive really touched on or played much. I did the one video on it. But other than that, like, that's a massive game still to this day. I need to start shooting more. Um, and what else have we got? We've got GTA 5. 10 years old of a game. And obviously, we've used the races uh, for ages as sidemen. And to this day, I'll, I'll, I'll use the races. Um, but even then, failing that, you have 5M, which came from GTA 5. Uh, and then had all the roleplay servers, which obviously keeping that game alive. And it's why GTA 5 is still in the top 10 games in the charts every month somehow even though it's literally 10 years old and probably why you've not seen gta 6 yet because they don't need to do gta 6 yet realistically it's getting to the point where they need it now but their game has such legs that it can stand on because of everything else that gets added to it and they still i guess they're still showing support to the game by adding constant dlc rockstar have been pretty good at doing that stuff at least whether it's paid or not um all right open these doors that's admin i guess you want to go to elect jesus it's weird seeing this as a 3d map it's like among us vr so there's a TikTok to that, and there's like <laughs> just some random as hell TikToks. All right, let me get this. The other games are there that we always touch on. Golf with Friends, Golf Fit, again, both workshop games. Um, games that I'd love to have got involved in early on. I think with Golf Fit, I actually attempted to get involved with Golf Fit pretty early on because Golf with Friends, I loved. I mean, I had 3D Ultra Mini Golf before that. And I, I've always loved mini golf games, love mini golf in general. Um, and I wanted to get involved in that game and try and help it get uh, bigger and better. But the dev who ran that didn't need my help, did it all himself. So respect to the guy. Um, one two fifty. I need to actually get more peas then. Maybe I get a better gun that will help us actually. What's this? An E rad. Is it rad? We we'll find out. Oh, it doesn't look very. Whoa! It's like a it's like a nail gun. Jeez. I guess this is a good place to stay. The walkways you can run around in a circle. I guess. Um, but yeah, what other games are there that we always like have used or played a lot? I'm trying to think. The point, but you understand my point though, right? The, the games that have like added a lot of experiences and allow also the audience to add experiences themselves always seem to do the best on YouTube and everything else. In other news, in other news, uh, I actually, if you haven't seen already and you only watch this channel and you're not subscribed to my Zerka Clips channel, I was doing my Hogwarts Legacy series and in the last one of these zombie videos, I touched on um the fact of i had stopped doing my hogwarts and why well now you know guess what this week i've actually been working on it and finishing it um so they're currently going out daily 
on the Zerk Eclipse channel if you want to go check it out yourself. Um, pretty darn good. Like, literally incredible game, too fair to it. Just a massive, massive game. There's just so much stuff to it. And, like, you're running, you're, like, you're flying around trying to do stuff. And you get caught up doing all these different, like, side quests and missions all the time. What's kind of infuriating at the same time. There's a power. What's this? Electric cherries. That's when you, I think that's when you reload it. Um, oh, God. How operational. Reactor, reactor and oxygen systems increase the instability. Crisis preparation advised. Huh? I'll go to reactor and oxygen, I guess, next and sort those out. Please say it's going wrong with those. It's pretty cool. It's literally pretty, like, spot on the sound. That's the, what's that? The, the garbage area or whatever it is. Trash. That's how it's called. I guess Among Us is a game that's lasted quite well. Is that there? Oh, there are mods in Among Us. Even, yeah, to be fair, even, even Among Us. Like, there's literally mods in Among Us that have made that game last for so long. And obviously, this, me and the Simon Boys, I need to just touch on those now. So, that's weird. Also, I guess you guys are getting used to seeing me in a hat this week. You watch like Eclipse, that is, as well. That's because my bloody eye infection that I had, um, which you can still see. There's like a lump in there. But the whole eye was swollen. If, if you're on Side Plus, you'll see the trailer photo of it. It was like a golf ball. I had like swelling all down here, swelling above. I could barely see out my eye properly. God knows. Second eye infection I've had this year. And no, it's not from Mr. Methane farting on my face. <laughs> it's weird. When you get an eye infection, everyone always instantly goes, oh, you got pink eye, someone's shat in your face. It's quite weird, isn't it? It's like one of the only things that you can have go wrong with you that people instantly assume that you just got like shat on or someone's fired on your face. So you don't get like the flu and someone goes, oh yeah, someone like coughed in your mouth, did they? Is someone like do this? Right, we got 3, 4, 10 on the point tees. So yeah, not a great week. Had this bloody flu that I finally got over. It's still there, you can hear it a little bit. <clears throat> but, oh god, hello, 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 sorry. Imagine I went down there. It's an instant kill. We can wait, we can, if we wait, till it starts flashing. It might help us a little bit. What's an admin? I should know, I should work towards... The issue is these are corridor like you want to stay in this room realistically cafeteria that's where you're going to stay most of it i feel like most of the game but we need to get our way towards oxygen and reactor yeah last year i done really well of this people seem to like really enjoy the kind of podcast vibe to it and also it i see it feels quite old school in nature because it's, it's waffling um it feels a bit more personable and more human like we said in the video itself and there's lots of comments supporting that Okay, and this is actually not being an idiot. Idiot. Let's go like this. And then... Should have done it all around though, because you would have got the, the 800 points for the new quest of 400. Oh no, we got them there. Actually did work out in the end. I need Juggernaut, really. That would be an absolute dubberoo. Until then, I'm going to be stuck in here. That max time came at a good time. I hope this doesn't get hard. Uh. Jeez. Yeah, following our last chat, I feel like I'm just going to just try and experiment again on the old YouTube, have some fun of it. If I see something I want to do, I'm going to do it. I'll do the usual stuff. I'll do my reactions and stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll farm the views out of those if I need to. You know, as a YouTuber, you've got to always do that kind of stuff. Be silly not to. I think a good point to live by is like having like 50k views of people who really really care and like had left video feeling something is better than 20k views of people who are just like emptily watching mindlessly I guess. He's like, where, where, I need to get Juggernaut. I, I, where, where? Reactor meltdown initiated, 40 seconds to explosion. Oh shit. Wait, actually? Fuck off. No shot. Is 
Do you have to cool down? Why is there no lights in here? Oh, bastard, I'm down. Wait, I had quick revive, no? No? Right? What happened? Did I, I went down already. Did I go down already? I don't know. Did I not get quick revive? Here we go, back down to meltdown situation. <coughs> and I haven't got any ammo. Game's done me absolutely dirty. Okay. Get these down this way. Right, and then what I've got to do. There's ammo on this left wall here. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, you bastard, bro. Oh, I was that close. Right, that's crit revive gone, I'm wasted. Anyway. Wait, we actually didn't happen? I thought you progressed that. Oh, for God's sake, game. I hate you. Oh, now you max ammo. Of course, mate, of course. There's a barricade there. You know what's happened, by the way? Right, that was reactor, and I failed it. I don't even just completed it automatically for me. I'm telling you, but it's going to be auction next now. They're going to make it auction. So I have to open these doors as well. It's relentless. Just wanted to have a nice little waffle. Maybe it isn't the best. Maybe it isn't the best game for a waffle merchant. You know, maybe it just isn't the best game for it. But it's quite a nice backdrop, I feel, to these kind of experiences and videos. It does get very distracting and confusing. I want to do this though. No, I'd rather... Oh, clear trash. Wait. Task complete, mate. My, I, I thought I was imposter. Oh god! Oh my god! What I get? What I get? What I get? What I get? Oh, I got like, I got a perk. I'm running faster. Right, let's leave those two. All right, we can only assume that Juggernaut is going to be in med bay, right? I want to open this anyway, so it's when the alert goes off, I can get it. I'm going to assume... I've not got the money for it. But Juggernaut will be in here. No, it's Tombstone Soda. I'm not even sure what that is. Yeah, I guess we just keep it moving. <laughs> I forgot about things David wanted to talk about. I had like in my head like, oh, here's some topics I'd like to cover. And I, I covered some bits and bobs. Tell about my infection, I have flu. Oh God. Love that, love that, love that. Waste of ammo, by the way, I shouldn't do that. I should get, I can get him into a lion. Line them up. I just need to do a little donk, donk, donk. Is there a pack a punch on this? Because if there isn't, oh, we could be in trouble. Because this gun isn't packing the punch it once did. And I need to get this again. If I, there we go. Because in the first time of doing this, I didn't actually, I realised I just went prone in front of it. I didn't actually get it. Come on, let's get that other gun. I think there was an AK on the wall. It was called like the vault or something. I'm pretty sure it's an AK. If our sprinters all the way through here. It's not an AK, is it? Oh, it is. It is? I think it is. Volk. Volk. Whoa. One fast one. These slide counts went off there and I almost kill myself in the process. Can you use events? That'd be interesting. No, nope. I'm an imposter. There is pack a punch here. How I get it though, I won't know. I'm guessing you got to, you got to manage to do all the tasks, right? Where would you put Juggernaut? Maybe you just put it in the first room. Kill Vanos first. He hit, wait, this is made for. Is this was this map made for them lot? For the Vanos crew. I guess it was. I remember when we were cool. People made maps for us. Actually, I guess we actually had the whole full on Simon House map made for us. <laughs> We should make another custom. Uh, I wonder if I could make my own custom maps. 
It's quite expensive though. A lot of work goes into it. Especially the big deal ones. There we go. Oxygen levels though. Told ya. But they're smart though. It's like it's coded to be the start of a round. So you're just kind of screwed. I'm such a dickhead. I fucking hate myself. I'm good at actually genuinely, I am good at zombies. I'm just it seems like when I'm just waffling away to myself and not sweating, the ability's gone. Because of course, why would you I'm gonna die? I hate myself. I really do. We're around seven again, might as well bring it back in. Uh, you know, don't need to waste your time and watch random thingies. Pick up gas can. Okay, now what we're doing with the gas can. I've got to go put it somewhere, like the engine or something, can't I? So I'm on the trash, I've got myself a perk, I've got a quick revive again. So making all the steps needed. Um, waiting for a reactor to go off still, and then it'll be oxygen. That is stressful, isn't it, to sell the Among Us stuff? I wonder what's some, like, what's, what's some, um, what's some Among Us? Roles that we could like even have to try and get custom made for like side men, that'd be cool because there's tons of mods that are out there and roles that are out there. We'll always make our own custom ones instead. We had, the, we had the custom side men map for Among Us, but as much as that's great, like nothing beats the OG maps as well. I, I think one or two times on a new map's cool, but eventually it gets a bit like tiresome or it's just too big. So we're trying to find like a new custom map we can make that would be cool. Maybe we could tie it in with like a JJ boxing fight one time. We could do like a boxing arena that's custom made. And then um, we could have like JJ as like the nightmare as a, as a, as a mod. And maybe like he could like beat someone. Like he, he, you know what? Like it was quite funny. He could just knock someone out. Like his role is not an imposter. He's a crewmate, but he's a troll crewmate. Like a, um, what's up? What's it called? It's not a, is it a joke? It's not a joker. I can't think of the word. But anyway, the, the one that's like a joke one where you try and take the piss. Have him and his whole role is like just to knock crewmates out. Um, it's like a sabotage almost. It's a prank. So you can knock out any crewmate any time and they're, just fro they're frozen in place for like 30 seconds or whatever. And you can, you can, you can do it to imposters too. Look, I mean, look, my creative brain's going. I can need to waffle to myself sometimes and I get going. Give me a tangent. Go off it. I've got an idea here. So look, we've got custom KSI or custom nightmare KSI role. And then it's in a boxing arena for like a Misfits event. Easy, mate. Whack that on more side, man. That's doing some numbers. Oh! And the issue is some of you zombies are smarter than I expected and going around Going around these tables is getting a bit risque. You're trying to stop me. Ooh. Kaboom. Beautiful. Right, surely it's going to be the reactor. Right? It's round nine. Hattie reactor. It's not reactor. Okay. Well, anyway, so moving on the other game in front, though. Uh, I know Thief Simulator 2 uh, has a prologue, like a demo coming out. Like, when is it? I've got, I've got my little spreadsheet next to me. I've got all the games that are coming out soon. Um, you know, trying to get on my on my grind again. Oh, God. we are react to Meltdown. Comes out 10th of May, the prologue. That'd be the demo. And I think the actual uh, full-on game comes out in June. So, as always, I'll touch the prologue, but definitely going to be on the actual full game. And then, weirdly, like, a brand new... Um, in the same week, there's a brand new Amnesia coming out. And obviously, like, Amnesia was a horror game back in the day that blew up PewDiePie, realistically. I think I've gone too quickly here, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, oh yes, that's perfect. What, why is this all going? Thank you. I have like a time machine. How you gotta do it? Right, this is good. We got peas also right now. It's the best position we've been in at this time. 
Yeah, so there's Amnesia and Outlast coming out on the same week. Quite weird. It's going to be um, the Outlast Trials and then Amnesia the Bunker. Kind of interesting. So I might try those out. I feel like I, I, feel like I, have I actually played through the Outlasts. I feel like I haven't. I might not have ever played Outlast because they're one of the best horror games of all time. I haven't played it's kind of mad. So there's a Lego 2K drive that I got noted down. It looks like Forza Horizon, but Lego. Wait, don't buy like Ah, oh, the perk that I picked up from doing the trash can is the free gun perk, which actually I don't like. Sometimes you scroll through and you get caught, you get caught, you get caught out. Maybe it'll work out in our favor though. Right, so next we oxygen. So we need to open this and this and this. Then we need to open admin. All I gotta do is just not die. Easier said than done, and I do I really do need juggernaut. It's hidden in a room somewhere, I've just gotta find what room it's in. Because without juggernaut and zombies, it's always, always difficult. No if buts or maybes. Oh my god, see? See what I mean? Like, oh my god. Oh my god, if I took one hit there, I was down. Not down, I was pretty revived. But still. It's crazy, crazy. Stop it. You man, all the reachers. They like reach for you out of nowhere. Right, there's two of them. Let's get that gone. Now, what are they likely to put as the next task? And where did you take, you take the gas cans to like lower engine and upper engine, didn't you? So I wonder if they're in here. You fill it up like over here. Yeah, like that. I feel like that. Maybe we've got to take it to upper engine. That's where the gas can normally goes. No glad is one of us. It is actually literally for the Vanos crew. Mad. Or just the founders of the Vanos crew. Love that though. He'll run now. Hey, he's not going to. Lovely, right. So a bit of time to play with here then. So where would you put Juggernaut? Maybe comms? It does feel safer though to follow around on this route because I'm going to need to go this route anyway. What's this? Mule kick. That's what I've got on me right now. Um, that's that room. Nav. Yes. Mm-mm. That's a raw MG, might be quite good. That'd be shields. All right, so. Hey, mate, there you are. Let's go. Hopefully it doesn't do re uh, the auction straight away. I pray, I pray. Oh my God. Oh God. This ain't gonna be easy, you know. Oh, that's some easy points though. So. We have got Juggernaut now, let's not forget it. I wanna do you guys a solid, right? And a service and almost like finish this map. So I'm guessing it's like a Bible ending or Normally these kind of maps have those kind of endings where you can just buy your way out to finish it. Um, I want to I want to I want to follow around and go through this way. So I can have like a full on loop that I can that I can run through. Go through comms. Uh, this way, shields. Oh, the box. Excellent. Wow. Um, well. Oh shit, I replaced it for the wrong, wait. Oh, see, that's why I hate that perk. But I got a ray gun, so realistically, what else am I gonna be using for a while? If I get that LMG as well, I think I'll be good. Let's swap the tasks are there. Oh, press F to help the team. In what way did I just help the team? 
<laughs> it's quite interesting, I guess. Ah! I get it, I get it. Look lads, I get it. Hang on. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Game, I'm going. Shush. Wait. Okay, it did end. Okay, I'm about to say, like, if you're on your own, can you just not finish this game? Is it made for only being in a party? I had a train of thought and that thing threw me off. I was going to say, weirdly, right, I've actually had, like, quite uh, a different week. Because normally, like, a lot of our weeks recently, this year especially, have been, like, going away, going abroad. And it's been kind of hella stressful because, obviously, you've got to try and make videos at the same time. You've got to stream at the same time. Do all these things alongside maintaining everything else. You'll be in different countries, not, like, not knowing what country you're going to be in. Not like how long what you're going to be away for, how long it travels for. So yeah, it's been a very eventful, stressful year. Um, and this week, that's been the first week in ages where I've kind of like just been, not had tons to do. I've had that like, usual like reacts and more side event, etc. Um, so been able to just last part, I've been, luckily I've been able to do a lot of like Hogwarts and like just chilling at home. I've been going through like clearing out some stuff in, in, in my like room and stuff. I want to like, I want to try and change the back to my room, right? Because recently, see everyone's been throwing, sending shots at me, saying my setup's the worst out of the boys now, because obviously Simon's got his brand new one he's got done. JD had his one done. Uh, Harry and Ethan had theirs done. Vic got his like really like, properly done, like crazy. Him and, so Vic and Simon have like crazy, crazy rooms. Um, JJ's room, I mean, for the space and what he uses it for, it's fine. Um, obviously it got hyped up to be saying crazy. It wasn't as crazy as it was going to be. I didn't think it was going to be anyway. So I'm like, oh, I should change this round because it's been the same backdrop for a while now. There's a little occasional hit things here and there that change. I've been in the same office for so long that I feel like tons of stuff is just a mountain. There's just like, just mess everywhere. A lot of Pokemon cards in here uh, from the whole Pokemon hype times. I still do have to be a Pokemon card, to be honest. So yeah, what do I do? Give me some, I need, I need some battle station ideas. You know, there's, that, there's that subreddit called like battle stations. They just show off their, um, Setup. So I need, I need some, I need some inspo for my own setup. To be honest, what oh, I might change it all. I guess a standing desk always good. You should be quite active, especially in like reactions. You can be kind of like active in what you do. It seems like the, the, the going trend right now to get yourself a standing desk, doesn't it? Um, so I might as well join that wave. And maybe from there, what else would you get? What else would you change? I think the, the cameras all fine. All, all, regards to equipment, it's fine. Microphone's fine. Got Shure SM7B. I've got a. Uh, mirrorless camera so that's like a basically if anyone doesn't know what that is it's like essentially just like a dslr um it's a sony a7s mark three i think um so yeah that that's now outdated that's cool that's all that's all well and good i need to think of some new things i need to get some new monitors too fair i need to get i've got the same headset that i've had it, as you might realize about me is uh i'm a creature of habit I had the same headset on for years i'm talking like 10 Eight, nine, ten years. So it's like Sennheiser uh, PC363D. They don't make them anymore. So Sennheiser, if you're out there and you make these still, or do you have these somewhere like, lying about, by all means, let me take them off your hands. I'll pay for them, I swear. Same with the, I've got a Razer, is it like Death Stalker Chroma, right? Stealth. Don't make these anymore either. But well, I, like, I still use that. I've got a spare one just in case this one breaks. I've got a Razer Death Adder Chroma, which I, I love still. I haven't changed that either since. <coughs> I'm mean, such a man of habits. I like keeping things the same. So it's quite weird. I don't know why that is. But I like saying I keep it. A bit of a hoarder too. You know, I keep stuff. That's funny. That's what I've been doing clearing outs is all this week. So yeah, if you have any inspired this, any cool setups, you're like, wow, this person's up sick. I'd love to do this. Or even when they, when they stream, they have some cool features. Or when they do videos, they have some cool features. Let me know in the comments or tweet me. Like, oh, this person's thing is sick. This is cool. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take a little checking out of it. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll nab it for myself, you know? Right, so we have all this. Let's actually work out what's got, what I've got to do. Obtain crewmate ID. Let's explore the map. Because we need some stuff that needs to get done. There's tasks. Actual tasks to get done. 
Speed co. That's for reload, isn't it? This is comms. Okay, I feel like we should scour all the parts of the rooms and see if there's some tasks they need assistance with. Where are the enemy tasks? I guess because that's what. Oh yeah, lower engine. That, that was obvious, wasn't it? Got like this one. That's fueling. We've been we've been in cameras, haven't we? And a, and the only task in cams is the wires here. There's not actually a task there. Um, but I guess type of electric could have a task. We've had oxygen. We've had reactor. Nothing else has really happened since. So I'm feeling like there's some stuff I got to do. Hmm. How do you open this as well? It must be a way. That'd be good to fair. On this map, let's try to be pretty good. Because every time you reload, someone's close to you. They'd get stunned. And once that's stamming up, which just helps you run around, spread around more. Uh, med bay? Have we got that unlocked? No, I've not opened that. I think that door is closed there as well, right? Those tombstones, though, I actually don't know. What's that? R3K. That sounds like it's going to be better than my raw, I, I think. Maybe it's not, though. Right. The whole map's open now, at least. That's at least a positive. Anything you can do from this now? It's filled up? Nope. So I guess it's a, it's, a, it's a wait and see type beat now. Because I feel like we've got task wise, everything you can do is task then unless Simon, this is Simon says. That's a number task. Let's keep it moving. But yeah, also this week, I had like a minor surgery on my foot. So yeah, that also happened. Um, we all good though, don't worry. No need to stress, nothing to worry about. Um, and uh what's it called i'm out here on my gym grind i'm moving to like two gym sessions a day because it's the summer's approaching so but i'd go every every morning and even this year i've been a really good seat pattern which is really rare for me normally you'd know me like i'm a nocturnal animal um but literally this year uh i've been really good i've been like going to bed earlier and waking up earlier which is more suitable for my lifestyle of like cyber shoots because I, I remember like when the, when my whole twitch stream stuff was popping off It'd, I'd like be streaming until 6 a.m. And I'd have to be at like a, a sideband shoot somewhere, God knows where, by midday or like by, I'd have to leave it here at like 10 or something. And it's like awful. I wake up in the morning after going to bed at six and you've had like three, like three hours sleep was not the one. Not constantly in a row as well. And I can't be healthy long term at all. This is why I hate the free gun thing. I think it's actually an awful perk. I feel like this is actually an awful place to be. I always think I'd say storage is better. Wait for a little turnaround, click on someone. There it is. Whoa, he come out the, he come out the corner so quick. <clears throat> so I've been really good. I've been really good. Uh, what's it called? Sleeping pattern. So it's quite frustrating because sometimes I pause and talk and I do apologize. Um, yeah, I've been really sleep pattern. So I've been get, waking up, going to gym in the morning. Um, and then, so now what I'm doing, like, so I've been like trying to work out my best shape, but trying to get in the best shape of my life, really. I've turned 30 and I'm like, you know what? It's time. I lost a lot of weight about three years ago, which you've seen. I went from I went from like 91 kg, um, which is I think is about 14 stone five, 14 stone six for, any, for anyone who trying to do conversions. I don't know why it's in pounds if you're American. Sorry. Um, only working kg and the old K, K, kg and stone is well working and no. And I dropped down to 76 kg. So you'll see some photos of me where I look really, really slim. Um, and that was purely like just uh, burning more calories per day than I was consuming and eating healthier. Because I basically went, I went from like Dr. Pepper all day and, and just like frozen food into actual good foods and working out all the time, burning calories 
That, that was pretty easy to do, I'm not gonna lie. Um, once, once you get your mind, it's all about mindset really. Once you get your mind to it, it's pretty easy. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck mindset. I hate it. No, I want to do well for the for the peoples, man. Please, if, I've really, you've, stolen, you've stolen all my perks. No, 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 you dare. Fuck off. <laughs> the people, man. Just for the people, I wanted to finish it. Anyway, I then put on weight, uh, try and gain muscle from there, right? That was my aim. So I got myself up to like 82, 83 kg. Um, and then COVID happened. Lost a lot of muscle, so lost weight, went up to 80 again. And then from there, went back into the gym and really tried to put on weight, gain muscle. I'm now at like 89 kg. So I'm almost, I'm almost the exact same weight I was uh, before I started losing weight. Back at level one, I can't leave, no, I can't. I can't make you watch it again. Um, <coughs> anyway, yeah, so now I put on now. Oh, wait, no, I'm now so I'm now 89 kg, like I was just saying. Um, and now I'm trying to bring it back down to 84 and I'll be hopefully in a better shape of my life. You know, I'll be in 30 and always a good time to do it. Um, so I've added it after, after that whole long side tangent. I mean, I, I've been going to the gym in the morning and like midnight every night. So before I go to bed, I do a cardio session until I'm done basically. So I'll like just either walk or I'll, I'll, do, I'll go for a jog, I'll, I'll cycle, do whatever. The aim is that I just have one final cardio session to spend myself and I can go to bed straight after. Oh, I'm about to shower. I get in the shower and I go to bed. That's my current lifestyle. So hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll see a positive change in me uh, visually uh, over the next three months, four months. If not, then you need to hold me accountable and I need to hold myself accountable. But I, I've been working hard for a long time and not massively seeing results. So I need to really, really go for it. So, because it's a hard life deal, gym life, but I do recommend it to anyone you know, thought about going. Not necessarily for like making yourself look good or whatever, but typically just to make yourself feel better for like clarity of mind or whatever. Um, it's really a positive uh, change you can make, I feel. I don't feel like it's just, it's cliche and it's forced down your throat, I know. <coughs> but from experience, um, I, do, I do really recommend it. And obviously, you only, only got to look at like myself, Vic, Ethan, um, JJ. Uh, who are people who like you've probably seen like some kind of positive results from from them going to the gym. Well, anyway, I mean, I feel like I've disappointed you again here, and I've not finished a map. Um, and normally I finish these maps, but it seems to be the new running trend of these videos. And I feel like it's it's three three times a charm, you know. If you go down three times, I think that's it. You failed the map. So in this instance, I failed the map and I failed you guys. But if you want to see more of these in the future and some little waffle podcasts, I can do it once in a while. You know, it can be a different game. It can be something else. I can play any game you want and we can do a little waffle cast. Um, but at the same time, obviously, that hopefully maybe there's some series and some big games that come out soon, which makes it a lot easier to do these kind of videos because I can just like, like, see like when you play The Forest or Stranded Deep or Raft, I can waffle whilst having a very simple backdrop that I can work with because obviously Zombies, like I said, isn't the best backdrop, even though it's one of my favourite games to play and record. But anyway, thank you for watching as always. Uh, yeah, leave a comment about something if you want. It'd be great. Bye.